Hello, hello, it's Stumpfit here. Welcome to part two of 25 of the college entrance test review. Credits to Review Masters for providing me with these items. Item five, the absolute value of the absolute value of two minus seven minus the absolute value of eight minus 14. Now, the key takeaway is that everything is inside of this absolute value. And we know that this must be greater than or equal to zero by properties of the absolute value function. So A and B, they're negative, so we can already cross them out. Everything is just uh, determining it's either C or D. So ab 2 minus 7, that gives me negative 5. 8 minus 14, that gives me a negative 6. So we have these two. Absolute value of negative 5 is just 5. The absolute value of negative 6, it's just 6. So absolute value of 5 minus 6. Now 5 minus 6 gives me negative 1. So the absolute value of negative 1, that's equal to 1. So we have choice C for this item. Next, item 6. What is the product of negative 1.54 and negative 1.64? So we're multiplying two negatives together, so we can just eliminate those two signs and then just deal with this. And notice how 1.54 is less than 2, and then 1.64 is less than 2. So we expect the answer to be less than 4. Now, by the way, um, since this is positive, this part is positive, we can already cross out answer D, because D is negative. Now, the fact that both of them are less than 2 imply that the product should be less than 4. Now, A, B, C, only C is less than 4, so A and B are crossed out, giving us only C as the possible answer. So even without expanding, we can conclude that the answer is C. Next item, oh, it's just an order of operations. We follow the PEMDAS rule. So we start with the parentheses, and we have this parentheses inside of this bracket. So we, started, we start with this. So 5 minus 2, that gives us 3. So we can replace this with 3. So 8 minus 3, that's 5. So we can replace 8 minus 3 here by 5. Negative 4 times 5, that gives me negative 20. That gives me negative 20. So it's just simply negative 20 minus 3, and that's equal to negative 23. So choice D it is. For item 8, it's just a very simple properties of exponents. Note how if I have something raised to an exponent, these two exponents and these two uh, can be multiplied together. That's a property. So we, distrib we technically distribute uh, this power to each of these two. So it's going to be x raised to 3 times 4, and then y raised to 2 times 4. So all we have to do is just evaluate that. 3 times 4 is 12, so it's x raised to 12. 2 raised to 4 is 8, so y raised to 8. So we can see that it's answer B. So this is another 4 items, and I'll see you in part 3. For any questions, you, can, you may feel free to contact me using any of the links below. Bye-bye!